Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over two worked examples to show you how to do problems involving uses of radiation. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says nuclear radiation has lots of medical uses. Part A says to state two medical uses of nuclear radiation. Well, here you could state any two from radiotherapy, radioactive tracers, or sterilizing medical instruments. And if you couldn't remember the name for radiotherapy, you could just describe it as killing cancerous cells or tumors. Part B then says to describe one of these uses in more detail. Well, you could state any one from the following. So for radiotherapy, you could say that gamma rays are fired from different angles to focus on abnormal cancer cells and kill them. Ideally, maximum damage is caused to the cancer cells, whilst damage to the healthy cells is kept to a minimum. For radioactive tracers, you could say that a radioactive tracer is injected into the body. The tracer builds up at points of blockages or overactivity, emitting gamma rays which can be detected using a gamma camera. And lastly, for sterilizing medical instruments, you could say that medical instruments are washed with very hot water and then resealed in plastic packaging. Gamma rays are then fired through the packaging to kill off any bacteria that remains. Lastly, question 2 says nuclear radiation also has lots of non-medical uses. Part A says to state two non-medical uses of nuclear radiation. Well, we could state any two from the following. So we have smoke alarms, detecting leaks or blockages in pipes, and generating electricity. And part B says describe one of these uses in more detail. Well, we could state any one from the following. So for smoke alarms, we could say these contain a source of alpha radiation. Alpha particles passing between two charged metal plates cause air particles to ionize. When smoke enters between the plates, less ionization occurs and a smaller than normal current flows, triggering the alarm. For detecting leaks or blockages, you could say that a gamma emitting source is inserted into an underground pipe. A detector passed over the ground above the pipe will show an increase in radioactivity at a point of blockage or a decrease in radioactivity where there is a leak. And lastly, for generating electricity, you could say that nuclear fuel, for example radioactive uranium, is used in fission reactors to generate heat through the process of nuclear fission. This heat turns water into steam, which drives a turbine and finally a generator to produce electricity. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.